Thank you very much uh, for possibility to address to such high level audience because I'm sure that those who are in the hall now, it's the most devoted people for security questions. <laughs> I open you one small secret. The idea of this podium, of this um, title, was my personal idea for two fundamental reasons. The first one, OECE practically, we are Ukrainians very clear, see it. Only one security structure in the world who very actively involved in Ukrainian crisis on the ground and on strategic level. And the second, because OSCE, uh, after the end of Switzerland uh, chairmanship, adopted decision to create a group of eminent persons from 13 countries to try to analyze uh, the future of this organization in light of crisis in and around Ukraine. And so my idea was to invite uh, members of this group Mr. Kapanadze, I also was a member of the group, and our highest level diplomatic advisor, Mr. Cooper, and try to have a discussion with a high level Ukrainian audience, maybe to deliver some ideas, some our reflections of our work, and maybe to see some critical or positive uh, creative ideas, what necessary to do with OECE, that this organization will be more effective in overcoming and settlement such crisis and Ukrainian crisis. It's my general observation. But I know that in Ukraine, not only in Ukraine, but especially in Ukraine, especially on media level, a lot of critics concerning the OSCE. My first message that uh, OSCE, at the biggest in the world, regional security organization survive Ukrainian crisis because we have no choice. And why? Uh, the operational level of activity of OSCE in Ukraine, I'm sure Mr. Cooper uh, will do some comments. I try to concentrate on some strategic challenges for OSCE and for European architecture security because of crisis in and around Ukraine. To my mind, on the previous podium, we discussed where we are now in security, and a lot of tried to propose us that we back to 19th century. To my mind, if we want to understand where we are in Europe in security, we in the early 50th of the previous, previous century. Germany is divided. Germany is Ukraine. Austria with Russian troops on the territory. And uh, what to do with uh, European security? To my mind, uh, there are a few options. The option number one, Ukraine can follow the Western Germany formula. Western Germanization of Ukraine. To be divided country, to refuse, as Chancellor Adenauer, to accept neutrality formula from the former Soviet Union, and to wait more than um, 40 years for reunification. It's a good choice and very possible. And if we want to follow this choice, but I think today Ukrainian elite who control power in favor of this choice, because this choice also give us some slight perspectives to receive status in NATO, like Western Germany, 50 years ago. And if we follow this choice, we need OSCE, because OECE help us to frozen this conflict, and OECE is doing very actively this now, and help us to establish division line or new Berlin war with the name New Yatsenyuk Wall, and to legitimize this new division line. And what is most important, 
if we manage to do it with help of present structure of OSCE, it helped us to return back in 1975. What was the Helsinki Act? It was, as Mr. Sokor told about Russia NATO Act, no biting act. It was only politically biting, soft, soft commitments. And it was a, a group of articles and principles which permit to establish peaceful coexistence between two blocks and create cooperative security system with existence two blocks which not divide the same values. Because if we follow the slogan of our conference, no security without value, it's correct for collective security system. But it's not correct for a cooperative security system. So to my mind, OSCE have all possibilities to help Ukraine if we here in Ukraine decide that we want to divide country, and I think we're very close now to this decision, and to create a new Berlin division line, OSCE can help us and return back in 1975 and to start to roll if OECE played starting from 75 till 1990. Because to my mind, OECE exists till now in two editions. OECE number one, this is OECE of Helsinki Act, which regulate the cooperative security with presence of two military collective security blocks. But nearby the disintegration of former Soviet Union, it was another idea to reset of OSCE, Paris Act. And the crucial, crucial idea of Paris Act was indivisibility of security. Because it was obvious that we need non-block security system in Europe. So, indivisibility of security was a crucial element of Paris Act, and this is principle put a very ambitious task to create cooperative security in great Europe without lines. Unfortunately, we failed. Unfortunately, to my mind, a great responsibility that the Europe failed on the Ukraine. Our diplomacy had not managed to, to, to keep uh, Ukrainian territory integrity. We, because I think it, it's a it's mistake or it's some mistakes of Ukrainian diplomacy. We managed to do it more than 23 years as, as some balancing country between. But in, 90, uh, in 2014, unfortunately, maybe we adopt some wrong decisions. It's my personal view. But, but if Ukrainian allies in future will be in favor to develop another security formula with more cooperative than based on collective security principle, I am sure OECE have a good, a good instrument and possibility to propose another formula which permit maybe to Ukraine to follow the formula of Austria after the Second World War. So I finished to us exist now to Ukraine two choices, two good choices to my mind, and OSCE have strategic ability to help us to reach successfully the final aim in these two choices. On this stage, I want to invite my colleagues to participate in discussion. Alexander, thanks very much indeed.